So Acura Honda does not have a service schedule for this filter. And because of that reason, mine has never been replaced. It still has the original filter back from when it was manufactured and currently has over 575,000 miles on it. So, once I discovered that, I thought maybe it was time to actually change out this filter. And when we do, we'll cut it open and we'll see what the old filter looks like, what, what's the, what do the guts look like, as well as how dirty it looks. I'm sure it can't look good after all these miles and years, but we'll take a look and see what it looks like. But first, let's get the old one out. All right, guys, so here's the motor and here is the location of the transmission filter. It's right down here. And as you can see, I obviously hadn't had my engine bay clean in quite some time, the way this looks down here. It's pretty bad. But, regardless, we are going to get this thing swapped out. So there's a brace that holds it down, and then there's a couple oil clamps, or hose clamps, that we need to get off to pull that thing out. So what I may do, just for better access, is remove the air box here. And... I may or may not remove the fuse box as well, just so we can get a better look, make it easy, and uh, try to minimize scrape knuckles. Let's get in there. Well, I was gonna take fuse block out. However, even once you take the two bolts out and you loosen it to take it out, the wire harness doesn't allow enough room to really move it out of the way. I was hoping to move it over here. But the wire harness is too tight. There's not enough give in it. So it doesn't make a difference. coming off. All right, so the filter's out. Here are the hoses. That's where it sits. The old filter is currently draining. And it was a pain in the rear end to get the hoses off of it. Let me show you something. All right, so bonus tip. When the hoses are stuck on the old filter, you have the clamps off, and it's just the hose on the ends here and they just won't come off well over the time the heat and everything it kind of fuses to the filter so how to get that free is you get your favorite pair of junk pliers clip them onto the hose and just rock them back and forth a little bit and you'll feel the hose break free and then after that it just slide right off bonus tip So the new filter is in the car. Here's the old filter. I used an old olive drawer to drain. And you can see, even after, I don't know, it's probably been two weeks, it's still got some fluid in it. And you can see how dark that fluid is. It's not really good looking. 
Now when the fluid first started coming out of it, it was nice and red like it's supposed to look. Um, but I'm sure this is just as a result of sediment from how old this filter is. But we're going to cut this open and see what it looks like inside. But before we do that, I wanted a comparison. So I bought a second filter. So we're going to cut the new filter open first and see what that looks like. And then we'll do this one and uh, do a comparison. Here we go. All right. So first thing we're going to do is get this new filter opened up. And what I was thinking about doing originally was getting a cutting wheel and just going around this lip here and cutting it on the top of this rim. But then I realized that this is just kind of like a pinched pinch uh, hold. Two pieces together, they run it through a machine that pinches this and that's what keeps it together. So my theory is if I just take a grinder and grind around this edge, it should, it should separate pretty easy. So that's going to be the, uh, the original test here. And uh, that's what we're going to try. There we go. Well, I've been grinding on it for a little while now, and you can see that kind of like a whitish line. But I'm not sure how deep it goes. I kind of ground a chunk out right there. And you can see the lines. So I'm thinking maybe a cutting wheel would be a little better. We're going to try that. So I think I got it. Goggles off. That's because I felt it kind of pop. Yeah, it did pop. All right, so I'm going to set that down for a second. Get the... Uh, Gloves off, clean up, and here we go. So it's just a little housing, and that filter is built into, yeah, just, it's not a big surprise, but still kind of neat. So the fluid comes through, goes through this filter and out this way. It's got pretty good flow. So now that I know how this thing actually comes apart, I'm curious as to how my old filter will look inside. Let's get it open. All right, so I wanted to grind it just to give the cutting wheel more of a flat surface to cut into um, instead of trying to cut into a rounded edge. So it's a little more flat. So we'll switch out the wheels here. Okay, I just felt it pop. We're gonna get the, oh man. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad. That is pretty bad. There we go. There you go. 
side by side, brand new, 575,000 miles. Man, there's a lot of, it's no wonder that oil was black coming out of there for the transmission fluid. Yeah, that's, uh, get these glasses off. Huh. Let me grab a uh, little screwdriver real quick. Yeah, it's no wonder this fluid was black with all the, uh, but I mean, it's not really, it's not really horrible considering it's got over half a million miles on this filter. But I'm wondering if there's any, no, there's no, there's no debris in the, in the filter itself. I mean, it's got some gunk, but I mean, there's no debris or shavings, so that's good. Yeah, I mean, considering it's not bad. I mean, it's not awesome by any means. So there you have it, guys. That's what the inside of these Honda Acura transmission inline filters look like. New. 575,000 miles. Since Honda Acura doesn't have a service schedule for these things, and judging by the way mine looks compared to the new one, I'm thinking you would probably be good changing these things every 100,000 miles. The whole thing takes about maybe, I don't know, five, seven minutes, and that's after pulling the airbox assembly out to get better access. I do recommend getting some either wide pliers or some special hose clamp pliers. That'll make taking the hose clamps off way easier. And uh, it, they're just, the regular pliers are just too narrow and the angles are kind of weird. So it makes it a little difficult to get the clamps off. But once the clamps are off, um, you guys might find that the hoses are fused. Remember that little trick I showed you, grab the pliers, pinch the hose and just kind of rock it back and forth. You'll actually feel the hose release. It'll like break free and then they just slide off really easy. Again, the whole thing takes maybe five minutes. It's really not that big a deal. It's really easy to do. And I'm thinking every 100,000 miles will be plenty. Um, I've never had any transmission problems uh, with my car and this is the original filter off the car. So I think you should be, you should be good with every 100,000 miles. But that's it guys, there's your comparison. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Like, share, subscribe. Tell all your friends, have a great week. See you on the next one.